Bump Love is brought to you by Unlimited Internet at unbeatable prices. Dial star 125 hash to activate your monthly unlimited internet. Airtel, a reason to imagine. Hello and welcome to Bump Love. I don't know about you guys, but I think we are looking fly. Ooh, yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so our look is proudly brought to you by Fashion Episode, Ooh. our lovely outfits. Do follow them on Instagram, our face bit by Shades of Beauty, and our fly shoes Ooh. by Shoe Puzzle. Yeah. Also can be found on Instagram, amazing shoes, amazing outfits, amazing look. Yeah. So welcome to the show. Today we're going to be talking about something that you guys have requested over and over again. However, we're going to be scratching the surface. Yeah. We're going to be talking about investing as a woman or as a mom. Um, I know there's a, a question that goes around on social media often. I have 500K. What business oh can God, I do? <laughs> I have 200K. Yeah. What business do you think I can do? Yeah. And we want to try and sort of answer that question. And of course, as you can notice, we have two guests on the show. Yeah. So to my left is Irene Mutiawa. She's the Corporate and Investment Banking Director at Absa Bank. Yeah. Yay! Welcome, Welcome, Irene. Fun fact about Irene, I'm going to go there. <laughs> she was a head girl at Gaza High School when Pumla and myself were there. And boy, do we have stories. <laughs> We've been catching up. She was also my house prefect. Oh, so she was, she was head, head girl. girl. So all the stories I've told you about my rebellious things. <laughs> She knows them and she was the source of the consequences. <laughs> but see, here we are. Yeah. 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 She, she continues to pay. <laughs> And I have as far away as possible from the former head girl. Yeah, head girl. So yeah, Irene was at Gaza High School and she's doing amazing things at Absa Bank. And we're going to be talking to her, or rather with her, on the show today. And then over there in a lovely, lovely dress, Caroline, you look amazing. You're wearing some, my colors, girl. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Caroline Asio, she's a retail director at Airtel Uganda. Welcome to the show. Welcome, Angie. You look like a million bucks. <laughs> All right. So, like I mentioned, we are going to be talking about investment. And I, I, I have a question, ladies. Are we all cut out to do business? I know we need to make extra money. We need to increase our income, eh, the economy. Eh, we can't be in a one-income household. But are we all cut out to do business? Or be entrepreneurs. What are your thoughts? Of course, I'm a resident teacher. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think let's define mm -hmm. what an entrepreneur is. Good. An entrepreneur, ideally, mm -hmm. or a business person, is somebody who provides a solution for an existing problem Correct. or gap. Mm. Yeah. That's just it. Yeah. That's what they do. Mm -hmm. They just plug into gaps. Mm. Need gaps, yeah, yeah, and provide mm. solutions Problems, for yeah, them. For yeah. That's all entrepreneurs do. Yeah. And if you were to ask me, and my issue with that, why you cut out to do business or cut out to be an entrepreneur, is that people lump entrepreneurship in in one basket. Yeah. Entrepreneurship ideally has four categories. Mm. It has small businesses which are not really intended to go far. Mm. It's just small businesses, mm. income generating streams. They then you you can have um, these are. Uh, Startups, mm -hmm. yeah? yeah, and startups to a point that they are scalable. These ones actually are as, they grow as a small idea, mm. but with the intention of to moving grow. fast, <coughs> and they attract investors that eventually can back them up if they can prove themselves. Mm. The third one is like a large company mm. or organization, mm. and those ones usually start with access to resources, more resources. Think Google, you know, mm. think Google, think Alphabet, think Meta, you know. Mm. Usually, there's their, the foundation is smart people, geniuses, because their ideas are firm and are usually backed up by resources and then when b and big investors because mm. they see potential. The fourth one is social entrepreneurship. Mm. Social entrepreneurship is ideally an initiative of where somebody would rather create impact more than uh, generate profits. Mm. Yeah, but you have to be paid. You know, yeah. you're a CEO, you have to be you paid to for the eat. work you're doing. You have to eat, you have to be paid for your time. Mm. So you're still an entrepreneur, but it's more about creating impact. The solution you're providing for think um 
climate change, for example. Let's go far. Think um, providing, go, let's go to the village, providing mm, borehole systems, yeah. sanitation, you know, mm. providing solutions mm. to poor sanitation, poor health. Mm. That's social entrepreneurship. Yeah. So when you ask the question, um, are we all meant out, cut out to be entrepreneurs? I think, yes, we all are. Mm. You just have to, what okay. is the category that best suits you? Mm. If you asked me as Pumla, it would always be the social entrepreneurship. Mm. So I've always really thought that when I business, it's just too much. I can't. There are sectors of a demographic I ideally am not equipped to deal with. I can't manage. <laughs> I cannot manage going to Chikubo. Mm. I'm not even going to lie about it. Yeah. And that's just it. Yeah. So when I look through the categories, I think me, I'm best so there for fall. social entrepreneurship. Come on yeah. now. Yeah. yeah. So I want to add something to the definition that you gave. That most times that when 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 you do the the the, you know when you provide a service, you fill a gap, yeah. solve a problem. There is usually, when it comes to entrepreneurship, a gain. Yeah. So even for social entrepreneurs, it's that thing of, well done. Yeah. You, you've done well. Yeah. You, when you see people are, are drinking, you know, what water, you know clean, clean water, water. Yeah. you you yes. go to bed guy you are feeling yeah. like that you are that yeah is. so so sense yes indeed that sense of satisfaction yes that sense of satisfaction mm -hmm. and so in that sense i also believe we are all it and i've said it this i've said this before including those who have <laughs> actually in fact we, you would say we are not meant to be if you just look at business as you can get a stall uh -huh. you put in your good things then now there you'll say i'm not cut out yeah. but when you look at it more in a in a broader sense you we all are so for those of us in jobs you are an entrepreneur they had a problem which was they needed a head of uh, corporate <laughs> 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 went then and filled that what that gap that for yes. a particular gate which is your salary which is your profit just yeah. the only thing about you guys, let's say, who are in jobs, is that you have one client, yeah. one big client. Yeah. When you write uh, your portfolio, a client, Airtel Uganda, client, Absa Bank Uganda, like those are your clients. Then for those of us like uh, us who are in childcare, early childhood, setting yeah. up childcare centers, doing what, our clients are a different type of, I mean, parents, we have many, you know, our clients are smaller, so then we have, a multitude, a, a multitude of clients. Mm -hmm. Then there are those who have just only B2B clients, corporate clients. Their clients mm -hmm. are corporate. Like, they will do stuff only with big organizations, and that's a, the service mm -hmm. they are providing to those mm -hmm. big organizations. Yeah. So I think ultimately we all are, but I want to just dig into a little bit more by virtue of the fact that we were created by a creator yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who started from scratch. Yeah. We all are creators to yeah. solve a problem for a particular gain True. yeah yeah just to add on that I, I i feel like everyone yes is meant to be an entrepreneur but there's like um facets that you need to put to it because mm -hmm. even when you're in formal employment for some reason you're always thinking what can i do like even when you're out of employment yeah. you're thinking where do i go so that's it's innate, like it's there. You feel like you want to create something because you, it's in you, you need mm. to create. Yes. Mm. So yeah, I feel like everyone can be an entrepreneur though, we but not are. everyone is meant to mm -hmm. at a certain level in life. Mm -hmm. So you have to just be at peace with that level. You know, when you're in employment, you're like, people, people are creating things and yeah. here I am, <laughs> but then it's for levels, it's seasons, yeah? Mm. So there's a season where you should be at peace if you're not an entrepreneur, but know that, you know, at this level, when I'm out of employment, I need to now go and start that, you know, the entrepreneurial journey. Mm. But of course, there's a lot to be back to it, even if it's not for my employment. That's why you've had of entrepreneurs that have not gone to school, but because they've, you know, reached out, they've educated themselves, researched, and they come in the world and, get, and make very great entrepreneurs. So we can all add effort to be the entrepreneur or the, the creators that we are meant to be. That's, mm. that's my take with this. Yes. <laughs> I'm just listening to her speaking about the creators that we are. And uh, for me, what is very critical is the value that we gain out yes, of this creation that we do. So, and as ladies, we want at the end of the day, whether it is that lady in the market who has a stall and has a capital base, 
of one million shillings or someone who is in a corporate organization and is wondering what to do with the money that they have saved up, they should be able to gain value out of that money mm -hmm. through investing it mm -hmm. and being able to partake of business or entrepreneurship yeah. as you like to call it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, and I, I think maybe as we hear some more opinions, I think one of the things that we women struggle with, at least here in Uganda, or maybe Africa in general, is we lead um, our decision to do business or to go into entrepreneurship with our current circumstances, mm. which makes it even more daunting. You know, like I don't have money, I need an income. Mm. I know we each get messages here in our inboxes. What can I do? Do you it's usually have from a point of desperation? Desperation, rather yes. than clarity. Rather than clarity, yeah. yeah. And I think it's it's a lot easier to start from a point of clarity. Um, and like you said, we are all cut out to do entrepreneurship based on your definition there four different areas, yeah. which one do you fall in, um, which leads you back to sitting down with yourself, like, who am I, what do I enjoy doing, if I were to create something, where would I thrive? Yeah, yeah. and I think those conversations are very, very important. Oh, yeah. yeah. Irene, you're quiet yeah. over here. Yeah, mm. <laughs> I'm just really thinking about this discussion and uh, looking at the typical woman, um, I think what is also central is protecting your investment. Mm. because women we collect our small monies there and you so you whatever investment or whatever level of entrepreneurship you're at is about protecting that money and mm. and like you know someone has said we're not all cut out to be entrepreneurs mm. some of us are for from uh, jobs from eight to five yeah. or and and it's about also destiny knowing exactly where it's supposed to be yeah. at a given point in time mm. Because sometimes you are in that five, eight to five and you're like, gosh, I have to own this, you know. Mm -hmm. You go into a saloon, they steal the money. Yeah. You put in a boutique, they steal the money. Yeah. You go to farming, the money is gone. And it's about staying in your lane yeah. and knowing who you are and knowing your destiny mm -hmm. in terms of what you're meant to do. Yeah. As a so woman. true, so true. Do you think that also money and investments has always somehow been uh, thought of as a man's kind of world. Do you think that there, there is a shift that is taking place at the moment? Uh, um, totally. I guess we, we, mm. we are more empowered, empowered now. There was a time, a period in time when women were not allowed to participate in any financial planning or decisions. Mm -hmm. And starting from the household unit. So if you can't even plan for your money right at oh. the core, from the root, mm -hmm. then what financial decisions are you going to make for people outside of your home? Outside Charity home. begins at home. Yeah. Mm. So I feel like the shift mostly has come because women have been more empowered. Mm. I don't like to, to say, people like to say men should allow women, but that's not really what it is. It's no, just it's recognizing right. that, um, that there is equity there's gender equity and when it comes to money let's not pretend that thing of what a man can do a woman can do i don't subscribe mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but when it comes to money i believe that in every home let's look at the household level in every household there's always somebody more competent yeah. Yeah. at managing money it doesn't have to be the woman it doesn't have to be the man but i think there was a time when it was not allowed for the woman to be the more competent one yeah but now that women are are, are, are I don't, not we've become power. richer, we, Pumla, we, and yes. become richer. Okay. Now we are now now, now we are richer. Yeah, exactly. Now we have yeah. Not only our own money, yeah. but we have proven ourselves that we actually know what we are doing with yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. It is and I went going back to the investment, why I, I like um uh, uh, um my head girl, my head girl. Irene. <laughs> Irene. Yes. I like I like Irene's talk about staying in your lane. Mm -hmm. that Women, by definition, investment, Irene works for a, a, a commercial bank, which is great with uh, money markets, investments. Yes. And I think women, women by nature, we are more risk averse. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. We are true. more stable. Yeah. And we like to plug into spaces that are not volatile. Mm. Yeah. And that is ideally the definition of oh, money market money investments. Markets, yes. So because we have now found a place that is high liquidity, 
oh. that still earns us interest, interest yeah. which is recognized. Which is recognized yes. and regulated yes. and supervised, protecting yes. your investment. Yeah. That investment is protected mm. always. The government, B Bank of Uganda has got you. <laughs> in Come, that, on in that <laughs> Come on yeah. now. Come on now. Yeah, Absa can never steal your money yeah. because Bank sure. of Uganda exists. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, yes. Other other trust funds will not steal your money because Capital Market Authority exists. exists. Yes. Yes. So they are safe, and I think women are now plugging into those safer havens of investment mm. because they do now exist. Mm. And I think. I think, I, and anyway, I mean, you said it because we have money now. We, yeah. have, we have money now. Yeah. We are rich. I also think it's possible yeah. because now we've seen it happen before. You've seen someone do it before. Yep. Yeah. And because we are such social beings, yep. we share. We share. Eh, mm -hmm. My money, mm -hmm. I put it here. Did you know that you can yeah. buy shares here? Did you know you can? Like, because we are so social. We've been able to share and when we've seen our friend do it yeah. when you've seen what they've done with yeah. money no, like all of a sudden you're like yeah, yeah. i can do it i can do it those things That's of keeping true. money in your bra what mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now not anymore you know because women and i think for me i would like to say thank you to the women who went before us yeah. For sure. yeah. who said i'm yeah. going to for break sure. this cycle yeah. for sure for ugandan women and i am going to do what i i really want to applaud you wherever you are sleeping yeah. in your bed maybe you don't know what you don't know yeah. but i really want to applaud you especially those of us who have let's say you have a mom she's broken out Mambi say thank you because it wasn't for them showing yeah. us that it's yeah. possible yeah. we would not have been able to do it yeah, yeah. I think, uh, I'll, I'll just add to that I'll take us back to the parents of, I think I'll say 50s, who decided that they are going to educate the girl child yeah. and differ from the past Asian years where they didn't see value on a girl child. Mm -hmm. Now a girl will go to school and get A's in mathematics and go and get their degree and focus. So when they come to the world, they manage. They know how to manage money because they've gotten that education. Yeah. They are, I like women who say, you know what, my husband has let me manage the money in the house because he sees me best me i'll spoil the money i'll go and waste and i love it because it is empowering the woman so that he knows that that woman can go out and invest and bank that money and make money out of the investment like we have been equipped we've gotten an education as in yeah that's it they did yeah. it for us they took us to school this whole yeah it started from there yeah, yeah. 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 the shift, has the shift, the shift yeah, yeah. Angie, what do you think? You asked, but I want to hear what you think yeah. as well. <laughs> I asked the question because I truly believe that, yes, there has been a shift. Yeah. And the second there's a shift with a woman, it means there's a shift with the family. It's a, there's a shift yeah, with, with the next generation. Yeah. It, 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 it's amazing when you see what women are doing with their lives right yeah. now. It's, it it's really lovely. Yeah, it it's really nice. It really it is. is. Um, I, I do think, though, that there, um, even while there's a shift, I think there are still women who could use some advice in terms of like their little savings. Yeah. Um, what can they do with what they have? So yes, I, I talked about that question as we were starting the show. You know, I have this Kamani, what do I do? Um, maybe just to say that there, I feel like there are options and the options have been made available to us mm -hmm. to do something with our money to be able to grow it. But there's a woman who gets maybe 20K every day um, for the management of the home. Um, should she use all the 20,000 shillings <laughs> so that her family is well fed? Can she put aside 1,000 shillings every day when she accumulates that, that little money? What can she do with it? Is that something we can speak to? I think if you started, for example, I employ quite a lot of well, semi-illiterate um, people, meaning they don't have much, but I think that the same the same system that would work for 10 million shillings mm. would work for 1,000 shillings. Mm. So if you set your 30% aside, mm. it will accumulate and you'll be able to create an investment that fits within your budget. Yeah. Yeah. Most times we are waiting for the big money. Oh, yes. Yeah. Generally, Ugandans have this saying, if it won't fix my problems, I may mm, as well let me eat it. Mm, let me eat it. <laughs> yes. Girl. So if, if we constantly try to reset our minds into understanding, get your 30%, whatever it is, mm. we, we, I think it, that would really help with investing yeah. in Uganda today. Yeah. And sure. I, yeah. I think, Angie, that's, that's powerful. Because mm. there are times you look at women, for example, she sells charcoal. 
-hmm. that she tells you she has educated all her kids. Oh, right. They've gone to like, university. She, right? yeah. she owns a home. A home. Right. She owns a plot. Yeah. Um, you know, back in She's the days we used to have a tea home. girl. Mm. And the girl was amazing. She bought a piece of land. She and her salary is not that big. Mm. But the things that they do, so it goes back to the same principle. You may earn 10 million, but do nothing with it. Right. You may earn just even 100,000. Mm. Um, look at the girls that, you know, help us at home. I'm amazed at the end of the year, and she's like, oh, auntie, I've, I have 1.5 million, 2.5. What can I use it for? Yeah. And how you then go back and ask yourself, okay, for me, who earns this? It's Do I even have that? Actually, <laughs> <laughs> I, I paid her, yes. but she owns more money than yes. I am. So yes. it's it's the principle okay. of saving. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Maybe to just add to this conversation, I think one of the best things that has happened to us women is the empowerment, mm -hmm. and you know our forefathers must have foreseen that once you empower a girl, yeah. then you are empowering the and family. Yeah. And you've had the rhetoric now that, you know, give a woman this, the pastors talk about yeah. it, and they will multiply. Yeah. You understand? <laughs> so we've, we've sort of picked that up as yeah. ladies. Yeah. There's yeah. so many successful women. Mm. And for women like us who have reached a certain level, I think the onus is on us. Yeah to encourage the other women to come up and encourage them in the areas of being disciplined around saving right. and being able to get that Kalito Kameza money that they get on a daily basis. Mm. Take a fraction of it, save it, six yeah. months later, you have 250K, yeah, yeah, and who yeah. knows, you could buy shares in Airtel, right? you could start yeah. a business. Oh, okay. <laughs> now you're talking. So it, it is quite... Um, We've come a long way. A long way. Mm. Yeah. Come a long way. Yeah. 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 The principle does remain the same, as Angie yeah. says. Mm -hmm. It may just need to be scaled down a little, mm. but the principle is the same. I'll always speak about savings. Save before you, save as soon as, as, you, soon earn, as you earn, yeah. save before you spend. Yeah. Mm. And it is okay not to know what you're saving for right mm. now. Mm. And this is why I always encourage, and that, that question, when, when somebody asks me, it comes to me a lot. Um, I have 300,000, what, what business can I start? I have 3 million, I have 5, I have 10 million, what business can I start? As a certified financial literacy coach, I'm not al allowed, it is not prudent of me to give you um, a response to that question in the specificity that you require. Mm. Because I am seen as an authority and anything I give you, you will take and trust as gospel truth. Even yeah. if I tell you, to guide you that no, you, you think about A, you think about B, think about C, whatever I tell you, you will go in that direction. And if things go south, then now it's my head on the nook. And if things go great, then you're going to tell other people and then it might not work for them. It yeah. works for you. So, but what I usually can advise you, I'm able to advise you, is give you some tips for people who really ideally want to start a business from small savings or from large savings. Again, as Angie said, the principle remains Main. the same. Mm. Now, fun fact. Money might be the most important ingredient you need in starting a business, but it is the very last one that you need. Mm. The last one. Money mm. is not what starts a business. Mm. It might start it, but it does not sustain it. Mm. And yet you want to sustain this income generation stream. Mm. So yes, you have money, but there is so many other ingredients that you need. Actually, money is like the, the oven. But do you have the food? Mm, yeah. The ingredients. Do you have the yeah. other ingredients that you mm. need to go? You don't even have a saucepan. Money is not even the saucepan. It's the oven. Mm. Now you need the food. You need the spices. You need the electricity, the gas, the charcoal, the firewood. There are so many other things. And the most important one of those are interests. Me, I always tell people, first look at your interests. An interest is dictated by personality type. What is your personality type? When you have a personality type, it means you have a, fi a financial personality. It means you have a business fi That's personality. It true. means you have an engagement personality. What is yours? What, what do you enjoy? What are your interests? What are your passions? What are your skill sets? What is your expertise? Most important for me usually is what is your passion? Because passion is that backup generator yeah. that you need to keep your business going mm. 
even when everything else has failed. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, mm. that's really what it is. Mm. So what are those things? You've seen Mount Love here. You see they are thriving. People are on a podcast. Yeah. Then you say, let me also, let me also start. start. Yeah. But do you have good communication <laughs> skills? Do, do you, you have good... <laughs> <laughs> do you have good teamwork yeah. skills? <laughs> do you you have the money yeah. yes you might have money to pay pro, for production you might have clothes from fashion episode you might have shoes from shoe puzzle you might have everything yeah but there's soft skills that yeah, you might not have acumen. because that business hey. acumen that that is needed for different kinds of businesses yeah. mm. so what I'll always encourage people with small to large savings is to take time off yeah. and keep saving Keep right. saving and actually reinvest your savings, mm. mostly in risk-free assets. I always advise money yeah. markets. Yeah. Mm. Always advise yeah. money markets. Mm. Money markets yeah. and bonds. Bonds is usually short term. Bank of Uganda has a website <laughs> <laughs> that redirects you to, because this can be a whole topic. A whole and me and by the way, I can give it to topic. you yeah. for free. Yeah. Because I, I teach financial literacy, I don't want you to spend money on things that people can give you Correct. for free. Mm. Yeah. I'm telling you this. Mm. So you go to the website and go through everything that is there, how, what you need to invest in the money market. What that does for you is that it keeps your money growing. Stop keeping right. your, monks as bank, your money as savings in the bank. Mm -hmm. You know what those banks are doing? Mm. They are accumulating all your savings and investing, investing them somewhere yeah. else. Let me tell you what you can do. The bank has many products and services. All these yeah. products I'm telling you are offered by the same bank. Yeah. 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 The yeah. other, there are so many other things. You have foreign deposit. Absolutely. You know, you have, yeah. Yeah. You have a, yeah. a deep, deposit account. Yeah, fixed deposit, fixed deposit yeah. account yeah. that yeah. earn you yeah. more interest. Yeah. Where I can reinvest my small savings to keep growing. Yeah. And you don't even know what you need to do at the time. So take that time off when your money is growing uh -huh. to think about your interests, your personality type, your passion, your skill set, your expertise. Yeah. Take time and that, those savings grow. This saving, that 10 million, it started as a 100,000. Mm. 10 million does, yeah. doesn't just go past. Does does no, it takes time, consistent effort to save towards that 10 million. Yeah. Let me tell you one day, one day. Right now you may think you're not, you don't, you know, that entrepreneurship is not for you because right now it's not. Mm. Yeah. But in two years it can be. Then yeah. now you won't have the money. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. if you take time off to do the savings, because I don't take loans, I don't mind loans. Mm. Again, I don't want to shut mm. Irene down. <laughs> but you can, you can at least add on call the loan to what you yeah. have. Yeah. So that yeah. you're not borrowing from Angie and then running yeah. away from her when your business has failed yeah. because you can't pay her back. Yeah. At least have called some savings to start with. Yeah. So may I always tell people of small savings, just keep accumulating those savings, keep reinvesting them back in money markets, in risk-free assets that are offered by Bank of Uganda through our agents, commercial banks, financial yeah. institutions, and one the day, rest will be the rest will be history. Then decide for yourself in time. <laughs> Not no one tell you to start a chicken farming yes, business. Yes, that's true. Because yeah, it has worked for them. Yeah, it will absolutely. fail miserably for you, and then you'll think they logged you. Yeah. <laughs> they did not log you. You didn't do the work. Where's <laughs> also they could? They oh, are also okay, no. you. But they are like, let our money really get wasted. And you know what, Pumla? People never tell you the real story. Okay. The end to end. Mm -hmm. No one tells you that I lost this amount of money. I can tell you we've lost money. Yes. <laughs> that's what I got. Yes. On a good day, they tell you. Oh, Butunda. Hey. Butunda is an in thing. Yeah. <laughs> we'll go for two acres. You know, after growing two acres, my husband brought back half a sack of Butunda. Oh and we drank goodness. it ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> we even had to go around and say, hey, Banange, mommy, two, this is the Butunda. Two acres. After what? investing. On the day he went into fish, he never even brought back one, one fish. fish. I never ate one fish from <laughs> that imagine. investment. Yes. 70 million shillings gone. gone. Yes, and that's happens. what people never tell it's you. Happened. Keep on losing money. I love what you're saying because it takes us back to know what you want, know, be in your lane. What, uh, the, what are you yes. supposed to do? What your is lane. yours? Yes. There's people who have grown up in the villages. This farming thing is theirs. And then now they are looking at who fashion episode who has done that yeah. boutique. They're like, no, I'm running out of the village. Let me do a boutique. And yet this is their craft. Guys, me, I'll speak into agriculture, agribusiness, agro-processing, and value addition, because that's what Newman's about. So we started Newman's as, um, as an export business, so we're into agro-processing. Agro we needed to get very, very good stuff to export. Yeah. 
and there was always market like you look for avocado and you can't yeah. get enough mm. and it's just like but guys wait where are the people in the villages aren't they growing these things yes. you can barely get anything mm. but back to your point now you fell into the fishing the butunda <laughs> yeah. you had no skill whatsoever no, there you are bankers <laughs> who understand <laughs> investing money and what you're taking us back to villages yeah. there's people that have grown up digging but all their lives their fathers would wake them up come and we dig so yeah. they understand these things they know what to do yeah, they the know large scale farming the time so that we are working with very very many farmers across the region as because we do crisps we do a variety of snacks so now we are we are working with um people that are in different areas growing us potatoes they already know where their market is Correct. like they they farm and so they, they've understood their craft they've done a good job they've been sourced now they don't go looking for market it's already there it they will come and their yeah. money is ready there yes. there's there's a guy that built um a, um, a factory that does avocado oil hmm. so he needs a, as a much avocado, avocado as, as he, can get. he can't even get enough so guys if that's your craft if you have land go and farm okay don't don't run away from your banks i think you understand but for you if you know that i grew up with these things my father had a farm i know you can't thrive in that area and it's in it there's it's in it the people that do farming and thrive in it it's in them it's they in they them. have believed that they can do it and they can do it me i yeah. love fashion i know when i open a fashion house mm -hmm. come on it's now. in me yeah. <laughs> you get, i'm not going to tell that guy i'm not going to go and look for the one who is doing chips and tell how do i fry chips to be like it <laughs> that's what you need so for you understand what you love and you will fry it yeah yeah, yeah. Sure. actually just to extend that yeah. if if you're not a farmer and you want to enter farming yeah. mm -hmm. and you have the money why well, wouldn't you rather give that money to the one who's already farming so that you know you know someone needs avocado you have yes. money there is a farmer yes. why don't you far eh, give money to the farmer you can be the, the one who investor. you can be the investor yeah. if you, you have bump love even us by the way are looking for investors <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> speak into the woman who is going to who has a, who has small money and she's believing god for men mm. Mm. Yeah. that one she, she prayed she spends hours on the mountain praying mm. over that yeah. mountain but now guess sweetheart god is god is not a magician mm. he might be a miracle worker mm. but he's not a magician oh, a yeah there's a difference mm. <laughs> he has to work with something yeah. Yeah. you must be doing something he's, he blesses the work, blesses the work of your true. hands so you know true. even that same word the same bible says little by little eh, I say, little by little when you put little he who gathers little by little mm. makes it yes. grow ah. <laughs> that's, that's how it works so there's a same principle so there is there's a principle of being able to gather little by little mm. i'm reminded of that story of when the, the the guy left his workers with talents and said i have mm. left five with yeah. so you your yours may be the one yeah. the one talent now the one of 10 million yeah. has five you you have your car one yeah. and, it's, and he and you can't bury it mm. in chicken yet you are not <laughs> a, you are not a farmer yeah. so it's i think for me what i would say is first of all have no pressure yes but now you get true. off that that's pressure so already you don't have the money mm. you have already little money mm. so whether it is little today or little tomorrow it's still little, little. it's better than nothing mm. or wasting it Correct. first educate yourself True. first educate yeah. yourself i'll yeah. never forget and i want to thank god for crested capital now, i know i shouldn't advertise things <laughs> like this but i remember the first time i sat down with crested capital they were still allowing ten thousand shillings of investment mm. into government bids and bonds yeah. like like pumla had said money markets most times is really where you can start like when you yeah. when you don't know what to do but yeah. it's not for everybody wait first go and educate yourself yeah. and i remember that i sat down with her and she's and I was putting in like 10 10k every two weeks because there's an auction every two weeks mm. and I think about last I think last year yeah. we have invested every two weeks I won't say the amount mm. but she smiled we had coffee together yeah. and she smiled because I had doubled not not even doubled mm. 
-hmm. I had more than tripled, more than quadrupled, mm -hmm. more than five times, oh, more than it. ten times. Yeah. Just by virtue of the fact that I knew every two weeks I needed I to lend Uganda in. government money. Yeah. 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 Because I'm a lender of nations. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a lender of yeah. 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 says I'm a lender of, of nations. nations. <laughs> so I lend Uganda. Started so I started with my own. <laughs> but it took me education. Going and saying, yeah. of yeah. all these options, That's what can I do? What does it need yeah. my time? Uh -huh. Look at your situation. Yes. I didn't have time. I had a small money. It oh, wasn't yeah. there big. Yeah. I needed to secure my bag. I love mm. you so much, Mr. Mlondo. However, <laughs> I needed to secure yeah. the bag. He was fully aware so I didn't do this without his knowledge. Mm. And when we come to the end of the year and we are yes. talking money, mm. also me I talk. Mr. Mlondo will talk when I was with, working with a bank, finishing all yeah. my money, yeah. not knowing what to do with yeah. my money. But now, yeah. Mr. Mlondo can't sit down. Those days I said, we have an Excel sheet. And guys, look at me like, you have an Excel sheet for whose money? Whose money? Now when I come, sir, I'm sorry. Yeah, his money. But now, <laughs> but now I can get up. I remember this year he told me, I think that money looks very good for us to put in our emergencies. Oh! And you had I was like, when I get me, I have How? arrived. I really felt like I had arrived. Yeah. <laughs> money. Yeah, money. Yeah, yeah. money. And let me tell you, when you start to get ingrained in yourself as it's so beautiful. It's sweet. Mm. To yes. When you put in 10,000, you know, and you watch your money. Yeah. And these days they have so many applications and platforms yes. for you to literally see, see your money grow. Yeah. So when you see that cut 10K rising mm. to 20K to 30, mm. now that 30K is not rising from, it's not, you're not adding 10K anymore. Mm. Now you're adding 30K to 30K. Because, yeah. Now you have 60K. Yes. And do you know what 60K does? It encourages you to look for 60K. Correct. Yes. To add. Yes. And 20K. Yes. And so so for one day, 10 million will look for 10 million. Yeah. Come on now. Right? Yes, it's true. 100 it's million. True. Here we come. Here we come. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, Caroline, you actually intimated earlier that um, you, you were inviting people to invest, you know, their little to big monies in Airtel shares. So could you please uh, maybe let us know what prompted the decision, Airtel's decision to go public and what does your initial public offer entail? So uh, picking on from what Angie said, where she talked about many of us who have saved up something. Yeah. Ladies, now is the time. Yeah. We have an opportunity yeah. to be part of the fastest growing telecom company in this country. Whoosh. And guess what? We have 8 billion shares. Wow. up for grabs wow. and uh, that represents 20 percent of airtel uganda shareholding oh, nice. and you need to hear this uh -huh. it's not just about shares mm -hmm. it's about shares that bring value to you okay. when you look at our journey as airtel uganda we set up stage in 1995 as celtel Oh, Some of you might remember. remember. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and it's, 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 it's been 25 years yeah. of growth as Airtel. That legacy makes mm. a lot of sense to us. We are very proud to associate with it. Why? Because we have grown together with this country. Mm. We have made a lot of impact. We have grown the technologies. We have innovated with you. And now we are at a point where we're saying, let's share in this success oh, together. Nice. Yeah? How nice. And How nice. I, yeah, I, I know. And you know, would like to give every lady a reason to imagine. Yeah. And how do we do this? We give you a platform of the latest technologies. Nice. Yeah, so that you think bigger, yeah. better, no matter the business you want to do, mm -hmm. we have your back. We would like you to just have all the imagination so that you grow the monies that you have. Mm -hmm. You know, telecommunication facilitates economic development. And I'm sure at the end of it all, as we talk business, entrepreneurship, for every business uh, person out there, the ladies in the market, you've heard about the different products that we, we have. We facilitate business in this yeah, country. Yeah. So yes, um, 
and, and maybe to add Pumla, we announced our intention and currently we are open from 30th August is when we, yes, we, we started. And um, I hope that the ladies here Oh, Before the end of the show, <laughs> we'll open an oh, SCD yes. account, yes. <laughs> and uh, so that we, we we take advantage of this opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. And the yes, price of each share, yes. maybe the ladies might want. To know. Yes, yeah. of the course. Price. I'll get to the price of shares shortly, but let me just again give you some very good statistics. Mm. Um, Twenty nineteen um, to date, we've grown at about fourteen uh, percent. We currently hold 49% of the revenue shares mm. and we have about 14.3 million customers. Okay. Now that represents about 47.3% of, of the subscriber base mm. and there is still potential for us to grow mm. and as Airtel that is where we hinge okay. our leadership. We believe that we will maintain this leadership position mm. and therefore bring value to you. Wow. Yes. So you asked about the price of the shares. Currently, a share goes for 100 shillings. Oh, imagine. That's only. possible. Imagine. And the, only. With just 10,000, you yeah. already have. 100 shillings, 100 shillings. per share. Yeah, wow. And would like to encourage us to have at least a minimum of 2,500 shares, which mm. is equivalent to 250K. Mm. Yes. So many of, all of us have house helps, right? Mm. Even a house help can actually save up yeah. and buy the minimum number of shares. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's hassle-free kind of investment for oh, yes. women who may not have the time. Mm. So yeah. for 250K, you will obtain 2,500 shares. And, and, and then I'll tell you about the incentives. Uh, later. Tell, 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 tell it all. So this is how it works. If you buy between 2,500 to 18.5 million shares, we give you incentive five shares for every 100 shares that you buy. So mm. to simplify, that's 5%. Mm. Okay. You understand? So we're even giving you a bonus yeah. from the word go. Yes. And then if you're buying more than 18.5, so that's really 18.5 million shillings, mm. we give you a bonus of 10% mm. between 18.5 to 30 seven million shillings and after that you'll get 20 percent to the queer oh wow. they yeah and they've been wanting to invest so yeah. here we are the question that i'm sure pumla is thinking about is to funirawa once you invest that's manuela's question <laughs> that's my, <laughs> my question <laughs> So I'll answer Pumla and Manuela's question. And uh, you know, once you invest in shares, you earn what we call dividends. Yeah. And we will be paying you dividends on a quarterly basis. Quarterly? Oh, oh yes. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Oh, yes. Every three months. Every and the months. benefit about owning shares. You will also have what we call capital gains. Mm. All right. mm. Yes. So, so your kamane mm. will gain value. I've already given you the backdrop that we are, where we're coming from as Airtel. Mm. Fastest growing. We are the first in so many things. We, mm. we were the first to roll out 4G. And for a long yeah. time, nobody was matching up. We were the first to roll out 5G. 5G. And you know the advantages of 5G. Mm. Fast, fast, fast. Yeah. We have been the first to roll out the eSIM, ladies. We have the eSIM, mm. yes. And we, we are first in many things. Yeah. So that gives you the confidence that you're working with a company mm. that yes. is growing. It is here to stay. Yeah. We've got 20 year license from UCC. We've got a lot of support. Nice. And then back to 
the capital gains. As we grow, mm -hmm. your share value will be growing. Mm -hmm. And as it grows, that point when you want to go to the next level, your company has gained, yeah. capital investment has gained proper, proper. We have even given you dividends. You have eaten some of it and reinvested yeah. some of it. Yeah. <laughs> Two, three, four, five years. You will be looking better. You will be testifying like, yes, like, uh, like Manuela was Actually, testifying. You, know, this, you have to be when you when you buy shares now, like in Airtel. Please, you are an investor. Yeah. 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 Tolly, you are not a here. Yeah. Yes. So we are not small people. Yeah. We yes. don't walk on Kampala Road just mm. on a border. Anyhow, you could be knocked. You are fully invested. Yeah. 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 So when you are dividends, you, 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 you don't you want to be there for them. Then and you are waiting for the board to see. The dividend. Uh -huh. I even have to send you an email <laughs> yes. to tell you one or to send a tool. Uh. They even call you for meetings. They call you for they meetings. They you are a full Your money is working <laughs> for you. For you. Exactly. Excuse me. Yeah. You're not a joking subject. Yes. Please. When you when you invest <laughs> and they ask you, uh, excuse for me, sure. introduce yourself. He says, I'm an, I'm an, I'm an, I'm an investor with Airtel yeah. Uganda. Yeah. You're yeah. not pleased. I am a bump lover. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Those things. Uh, I mean, we have ABSA here. This this whole IPO, um, putting it out on the market, is happening in partnership with ABSA. And we, we want our viewers to know, what is, so why is the bank involved in it? For, for what? <laughs> <laughs> to, to do what exactly? <laughs> we can't run from the bank. Why? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Brings us to the point of Pumla. Yeah. yeah. We are very important. <laughs> <laughs> very important. Very important. Yeah. And so, um, Manila, putting us back to the fact that, you know, people always think banks is for going and depositing money, 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 what? Mm. But banks actually play a very important role in advisory. Yeah. yeah. Wake up one morning and just go to the bank and say, I need to speak to a financial advisor. I have this, I have this, what do I need to do? Just even to get knowledge. You don't have to come to the bank to just deposit money and, mm. and do that. And withdraw and quarrel with the tailors <laughs> and, and you know. You can also just come to say today, I'm on a fact-finding mission. I love that. Mm. I want to learn about these bonds mm. that you have been talking about. Mm. So for our clients, actually, that's what we do. When we, we've worked with Airtel, quite a journey. And so when they say they really wanted to list, that is the conversation we had of mm. how are you going to list? What does this mean? What does, you know, mm. to sit and have that detailed conversation. Mm. So at ABSA, we are advisors and um, we are happy to say that and really proud. Like I'm proud of uh, Pumla <laughs> having turned out the way she turned out. No. And also, <laughs> ABSA is proud to be associated with Airtel Uganda mm. to be the transaction advisor. So everything that you've seen in the market, we've walked the journey to say, how do we get this to the people? How do we, you know, how do we give back to the Uganda? Mm. And banks are also here to empower this economy, and empower people not to just, you know, be banks like that. Mm. So our role here is to support um, Airtel through the journey. Mm. Um, and it is really to help that Ugandan who wants to invest to really understand more about the shares and what do you need? So we're working with Crested Capital, and I'm happy you mentioned Crested yes. Capital. <laughs> they are the lead brokers in the yes. transaction. So they're the people that will explain to the detail. Mm. When I put in my company here, how does it turn out there? Mm. And um, for ABSA, our channels are there. Um, when you're buying these shares, the branches, our branches are there. Digital platforms. Mm. Basically, we wanted to go digital. Mm. So this whole thing is very Same digital way. and, oh. you know, so our mobile apps are there. Um, as Absa, I would say, we are here to empower Africa. We are here to empower every man and woman to participate in this, um, the IPO. And not just the IPO, but like I said, just spend a day one day and come to the bank yeah. and say, guys, I'm here to learn, I'm here to, I don't understand money. money. Tell, me. Tell me what is money. Yeah. Like Manola said, you'll see, even if it's 10,000, even if it's 20,000, every money counts. Yeah. So please reach out. Um, Absa Bank is here for good. Ah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> it must be beautiful that you share the same brand colors. Yeah, right. Did that have anything yeah, to do with anything? <laughs> yeah. Yes. You, you dated and married in your social class. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you married no, in your social class. We, we pumped the economy. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so this is all fun and nice. Right. I, I like that my small money can grow and, you know, Airtel is here for me and Absa is also here for me, but how do I buy these shares? That's right. a very... Yeah, where do I start? Very do I important. I yeah. <laughs> very important question mm -hmm. um, because after we've said all that we have said, we must take this opportunity that is before us. Mm -hmm. Get your phone... Dial star 185 star 85 hash. Mm. Okay. So the first thing that we need to do is to open a securities central depository account, okay. which is an SCD mm. account. Mm. Now that account is very important to enable you purchase shares. Mm. And once and it's very easy, it's free of charge completely. Mm -hmm. uh, all you need is your national ID because it will ask for your NIN. Yeah. And that is the single identifier mm. for everyone who will be owning shares at Airtel. Mm. So once you open your account, mm. you go back through the same process. Mm. And then it will uh, give you a list of the different uh, brokers and then our lead broker is Crested Capital. Mm -hmm. So you select Crested Capital and purchase mm -hmm. the shares mm -hmm. as easy, easy as, as that. that. Wow. Wow, indeed. We've made it very easy for everyone, mm -hmm. even, you know, somebody in the market, somebody who is seated in a corporate office mm -hmm. somewhere. It should be as easy as that. Okay. There are other avenues as well. You could visit our website, download the prospectus, mm -hmm. get educate yourself. Yeah. We've talked about educating. Let's get to know information. Yeah. So the prospectus have a, has a lot more information that we've not been able to cover in mm -hmm. the limited time we've had yeah. here. And oh, actually, yes. money. These IPOs are usually the cheapest at the point when they have come out. Yeah, yes. After true. that, you'll have to buy from someone who already. Yeah. Actually, there are people who do a business like yeah. this. Yes. Yes. They buy Airtel shares in bulk, in the, yes. and then they start they to sell them. them more expensively. Yes. So now is the best time, yeah. the best time to buy. Yeah. yeah. And to add to what Manuela is saying, the important debts. Mm. Mm -hmm. We opened up on 30th August. Yes. Yeah. We go all the way to 13th of October oh. for you to buy through the primary route. Mm. So by December, you'll even be getting now profit. Already. Exactly. Oh. Excuse me, December, you'll be making <laughs> money. <laughs> you would have so, found so, return on investment. Yes, yeah, so up to 13th October, we have that window. Everybody, please go buy shares. Mm. On the 30th, on or before the 30th of October, we will be announcing the allocation or the allotment of those shares. No. After 31st of October, mm -hmm. you will now be buying through the other way. Secondary, Secondary markets. Market. Yes. Yes. Okay. Mm. So the call, it's, oh, the choice you is that. yours. Nice. Yeah. But we've mm. opened up for you to be part of this successful company. Let's yeah. enjoy, let's take advantage of it. Come yeah. on now. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. We love that. And I mean, and I can buy shares as many times as I yes. want in, within yes. this window. Yes. I think thank you for that clarification because someone might say, mm, okay. I'll wait for December. December, maybe <laughs> hey. I will buy. Let's see how they are doing fast. So yes, it's a, it's a limited window. Yes. Um, and I hope you've taken note of that. Thank you, ladies. I think this was Fun. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you, you for you having me. So, so Carol mm. speaks like Angie. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she's not in a rush. Irene and Carol. Right. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you, are, you have represented the institutions. <laughs> you look so well. Like, oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, likes trouble. Yeah. 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 No. <laughs> yes. You're missing yeah, yeah. Very well I done. Bank of Ghana, 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 Bank of
had to, <laughs> to punishment <laughs> tree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you see, we can't hide such information. good information. Yeah. Yeah. Really, we it's have an right. opportunity as Ugandans mm. yeah. to own a stake. Yeah. In, yeah. This in this company, yeah, this fast growing company. Yes. yes. Well, there you have it. built to you, isn't it? Yes. No, yes. Yes. Built you. Oh yes, of course. Yes. It's yes. only yes. fair. Yes. 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 Yes go and buy shares and invest at least you know what to do with 200k oh yeah. wait 250 250k <laughs> yeah so that's it from us um let us know what your questions are in the comment section uh, we'll get carol and irene if they can to respond to some of them um and then we'll definitely be giving you the information on how to buy shares we'll place that in our description box um let us know what you're doing with your money yeah yeah the answer might be helpful to someone what are you creating mm -hmm. Would love to hear from you. Always love hearing from you. That's it from us. Oh, by the way, we are coming to you from the beautiful Golden Tulip. Perfect for fine dining. You want to hang out with your friends on Friday. Maybe you don't like loud music in the bar. You want to come and uh, and sit in a classy environment. Right? Yes. <laughs> come celebrate your, your investment option. <laughs> Golden Tulip is available for you in the heart of Kampala. Mm -hmm. Perfect for fine dining. You can come hang out with your friends. We've got an amazing brunch. 90,000 shillings for adults, 60K for children. Very affordable. Come enjoy yourself with your family. And that's it. Until next time, with love from Bam Club. Bam Club was brought to you by Unlimited Internet at unbeatable prices. Dial star 125 hash to activate your monthly unlimited internet. Airtel, a reason to imagine.